Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Justin. This is McGinty's React. Today we are talking about Mr. Bro, who is Mr. Beast's brother. This video is on my recommended. It uh, why Mr. Beast's brother didn't succeed on YouTube. I thought he was still uploading. Uh, went over to his YouTube channel, and he hasn't uploaded in something like six months or something like that. So we're going to kind of just watch this video and see what's going on. Mr. Bro, the brother of Mr. Beast, did a pretty reasonable job of maintaining an average career monthly view count of between 1 and 4 million. However, he'd post a total of only 29 full length videos before disappearing from the channel around 10 months ago. It's when we take a quick glance. So he has uploaded another video since then, I'm pretty sure. I lied. And it's now been a year since he's posted over these 29 full length videos that we begin to notice the very first reason as to why CJ was unable to find success to the same degree that his brother had being that the Mr. Bro videos were almost indistinguishable from Mr. Beast's giving it this feeling of off-brandedness as opposed to its own fresh project. The editing ideas and thumbnails were basically identical to Mr. Beast whilst the crew which included individuals such as Chandler's brother didn't exactly feel all that creative or nuanced. CJ equals Jimmy, Zach equals Chandler, Tyler equals Chris. Together they are the budget Mr. Beast team. It was as if he was the exact same as Mr. Beast while at the same time being the complete opposite. The reason for this will be explained during CJ's first major appearance on YouTube in which Jimmy would explain the extent to which Mr. Bro was going to be guided by Mr. Beast. You have five helpers, uh -huh. a warehouse, office space. Uh -huh. You got a $100,000 starting budget. Two pennies. We're doing your thumbnails for you and we're helping you think of content. Aren't you editing too? I'm shouting you out and giving you over a million subscribers. Now it seemed like Jimmy was trying to teach his brother how to fish as a opposed to giving him a fish, which was certainly the right approach in this scenario. The systems were set up for CJ in a way where he could achieve instant success whilst learning about YouTube in the process. The problem was that since CJ had absolutely no prior experience with YouTube, he wasn't really mixing these systems with his own pre-developed style or self-learned knowledge, and as a result was rather just replicating Mr. Beast branding in its entirety, Gosh. giving it somewhat of an inauthentic feeling. With Jimmy's mindset yeah, with sense. giving money away, being a philanthropist, doing all the great things that he does every single day to make a difference in people people's lives, I have that same mindset and I also want to do the same thing just like my brother. Now it's probably safe to say that this was being done somewhat deliberately so Mr. Bro could capitalize on Mr. Beast's existing brand and in a lot of ways there was massive upside to this approach. We say that Mr. Bro quote unquote didn't succeed because we're comparing him to Mr. Beast. However, compared to any other new channel, his beginning was explosive. He did over 10 million views within his first two months on the platform. He'd cross over the 1 million subscriber mark prior to even that and his continual ability to gain upwards of 1 million views per upload, even after the initial shout out, would have without a doubt been at least in part, a result of him having the ability to replicate the Mr. Beast success formula almost in its entirety. Additionally, being so similar to Jimmy, many could market himself as Mr. Beast's brother with a similar profile picture and all, giving him a continual attachment to Mr. Beast's relevancy. However, it was clear that being so similar to Mr. Beast also put a bad taste in some of his audience's mouths, judging from this Reddit post with over 1,000 upvotes, which was titled, Guess Mr. Bro is just straight up copying his brother now, written in what seemed to be somewhat of a negative tone. Being marketed as Mr. Beast's brother also had its own disadvantages. It's likely that many of Mr. Bro's views were coming from people clicking on the videos to see what a video by Mr. Beast's brother looks like, as opposed to clicking on the video for the title, thumbnail, and idea itself. While this is probably a huge advantage for Mr. Bro's click-through rate, if people were clicking on the videos to simply observe- I wonder if he used like a lot of Mr. Uh, Beast's um props and things like that because i'm pretty sure mr beast has stated that he's had a he has like just like like uh sheds full of like props and stuff from previous videos so i bet there a lot of the videos use the same props and everything as well the differences and similarities between the two brothers, there was no requirement to watch the full video. As a result, it's unlikely that CJ's watch time and audience retention was anything close to Jimmy's, which would have been a further disadvantage against CJ's channel. This sentiment of being too similar to Mr. Beast can be felt further. Honestly, that's why I never really watched his videos is because like I did watch him for a little bit and I was like, he's just doing, trying to do the exact same thing as brother is doing without like change, trying to change it like even a little bit. But that was just my personal like, that's how I felt, but I guess that's what a lot of people felt. 
when looking at the comments on the Gamer From Mars video from about a year ago made on a similar topic to this one. He tried to promote himself as Mr. Beast's brother, not CJ. You cannot try to be a carbon copy of something when you're just not. As always, Mr. Beast's brother should just be himself. That isn't a surefire path to success, but it's important to the longevity of the channel. Simple answer, if I'm gonna watch Mr. Beast's content, I'm gonna watch it from Mr. Beast, not the great value version. He needs to do his own thing. The problem with these comments is that differentiating yourself from others is substantially easier said than done. It's a multi-year process. Every YouTuber goes through this. You begin by replicating someone you really like, which was where CJ was at. Then as time progresses, you discover your own nuances, try your own tricks and develop your own style. However, CJ might have stopped uploading before getting to that point where he could shoot off in his own direction. But again, this goes back to the problem of being branded as Mr. Beast's brother. Can he even shoot off in his own direction if he needs to maintain that image? Additionally, is he going to be able to develop his own style if the editing thumbnails and ideas are all being done for him? Is he going to be able to formulate a baseline understanding of what does and doesn't work on the platform if he isn't learning everything himself from the ground up? This question highlights another point that's worth diving into. Uh, that makes sense. Like, I've been doing YouTube for years and I've, I've watched videos on how to make thumbnails. I've used different programs, uh, different programs to record, different programs to edit. Like, there is a learning curve to it. Like, still, I'm learning. Like, you can tell my green screen's not as good as it could be. But that's part of, yeah, that is part of being a YouTuber is, like, the trial and error and getting to the point where, okay, this is how I want it done. I'm going to hire editors to do it this specific way for me. And that, so Mr. Beast Brother really didn't get that. He just got the, uh, like, here, here are my editors. They're going to do it for you. They do it a specific way because that's how I told them to do it. And that's not him so maybe he could have hired different editors like that is the thing that like, he he should have been kind of hands-on himself at first i don't think him getting all of the resources right away was a good thing like maybe like the equipment and stuff like that would have been good but l making him do the editing the recording all of it at first would have been a very good idea as well. Being that CJ never really got the opportunity to go through that rocky patch of developing an intuitive foundational understanding for why certain videos do and don't work, usually achieved through a bunch of early failure. Now you could probably argue that this is somewhat unimportant because it can be taught but only to a certain extent. You learn a little bit by someone else telling you about their failure or something they've learned, but you learn a whole lot more when you put an entire week's worth of work into something that you think will be a banger before uploading it for a hundred views. He never went through the hard work from the years before you get popular, so he doesn't know what it's like. You have to start with the corny videos, therefore he's not getting enough views. The other problem with skipping this early rough patch is that you potentially fail to develop a deeply meaningful long-term story associated with the channel that you've built. In the case of Mr. Beast, for example, much of his strong public image and goodwill comes from the obvious vibe that he's been to hell and back in order to get to his current position. I remember when Jimmy was 14 years old, in his room, editing his videos super late at night of Minecraft, literally just to post it and get maybe 100, 200 views. His 10 plus years worth of experience radiates from every fiber in his being, adding this indescribable flavor of confidence to his videos. CJ or Mr. Bro, on the other hand, even with a similar success formula to Mr. Beast, still gives off the energy that he's a bit of a newbie. His lack of confidence shines through and it can be felt by the audience. CJ just needs to have more confidence in his creativity and how he directs the videos. When you watch Mr. Beast, he's very likable and entertaining because he always has a plan and knows how to keep things rolling. CJ understandably looks a little uncomfortable so he doesn't seem to have full enough control of his content dude same i uh get uncomfortable a lot and it's not it definitely takes time you just have to kind of put yourself in front of a camera and start talking and then eventually you'll get comfortable but even now getting like hitting that record button just for that first like step it's like oh man here we go like i gotta I gotta be comfortable, you know, like, cause it's not like, it's, it's different talking to somebody than it is talking to a camera. And it's just something that every, every YouTuber goes through, unless they're the faceless streamers. But even then, like, you gotta, like, talk to entertain. So that makes sense as well. The other problem associated with not developing a meaningful long-term story is that there's probably minimal emotional connection to the channel, making it pretty simple to quit out of the blue without feeling as though you're giving up on multiple years of hard work. There are so many YouTubers who are no longer achieving the same level of success as they were in their prime, yet continue to upload videos to a dwindling audience, presumably because it's extremely hard to walk away from a project or brand that you've invested years of time into. Meanwhile, CJ seemed to have the opposite experience of this. There was a 
total of only one year and nine months between his first and last upload, which might not have been enough time to cement his identity as a YouTuber, resulting in minimal downside or regret if he were to remove himself from the platform. And you just work like hell, to be honest, for 10 years. Like, there's probably a good chance you'll make it. But if you do that over the course of six months or a year, I don't know. You know? This also highlights that maybe CJ was never actually making videos because he enjoyed the content creation process. Maybe he'd simply seen Mr. Beast's insane level of success and was- Yeah, maybe he was more in it for the money than like him actually enjoying making videos and stuff like that. And then like, while doing it, realized, man, I really don't enjoy doing this. And that, that makes sense. Because YouTube is not for everybody. It really isn't. Like, like I said, I've been doing this for years and it's it's hard. It's And it, it's if it was easy, Everybody would be successful, but it's not. It's very hard, and that's why some people don't find success because they do end up quitting. Like there, there are patches where I don't upload, and that definitely uh, affects how the channel does. But hey, I mean, if you're not enjoying it or you you like something about it, then there's no point in even doing it. Subsequently, too focused on the potential rewards, whilst the required level of natural motivation never really existed in the first place. Yeah, he sees his brother's success and wants to be just as successful. Problem is, he can't come up with his own content, so he just looks bad. I try to watch him to support him despite not liking his stuff, but I really can't. It's a waste of my time to try. Sorry if that's harsh, but it's my honest opinion. Mr. Bro is not his brother. We could go deeper and say that maybe he did want to be a YouTuber, yet the type of videos that he was making weren't really what CJ wanted to make authentically. However, However, he had no option but to make the videos he was making as he was replicating Mr. Beast's formula and wasn't following his own genuine curiosity or genre that he enjoyed. He could have very easily just, you know, Mr. Beast gave him the resources, told him he was making the thumbnails, gave him a budget, then not made videos like Mr. Beast but still had his help and crew and people making the thumbnails and like the titles and stuff, but would be more geared towards his channel. Mr. Beast is often seen discussing the importance of video ideas, stating that if anyone were to apply his viral ideas to their own channel, they would go viral as well. Obviously, a lot of it is just in the ideas. Like, but anyone, if they did this, it would have gone viral. Yeah. So if anything, at least Mr. Bro was an interesting experiment to see how viral you can make a brand new channel go if it was set up for success by one of YouTube's greatest creators. Plus, there's really nothing stopping CJ from coming back and continuing on from where he left off if he has a change of heart toward the platform. Yeah, that makes sense. I agree. I like the, this guy's thumbnails. All right, well, that's why Mr. Beast's brother uh, didn't succeed on YouTube. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching if you're still here. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, while editing that video, I found a... Uh, I was just looking at Mr. Bro's channel. And I found that he has another channel called CJ these days. And he has been uploading somewhat consistently, started about two months ago, has 39.7 thousand subscribers. Looks like he does a lot of YouTube shorts. Uh, well, he's starting off in Minecraft videos like his brother. Uh, so I figure I'll give a, this one a quick Minecraft, little Minecraft, but our health changes every 30 seconds. Let's go. All but right, let's four minute video. Food. Oh, I got like 30 hearts. I have three. Like, this game wants me to Ooh. die. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get wood now. Ooh, this cave. I gotta be careful. Like, what? Okay, I have a good amount of heart. I went from three hearts to four hearts. You can't make this up. All right. Oh, my heart's chilling right now. Yeah, I'm feeling brief. Like, where the mobs at? I can fight the ender right now. Whoa, whoa, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, skeleton. Oh, no. You get the health. You get the I mean, I do, but I'm betting to change. Oh, I got enough health for it. I got 30 seconds for this skeleton. This video is about to be easy. We say that until we're in the nether with like half a heart. Oh, I see, I see a village. I see a village. Hey, let's go. Time to get some food. Oh, we can also kill the iron golem, whoever's got a ton of hearts. Yeah, Gio, go ahead. One v one that golem. Yeah. How do we get out of this one? Uh, it's simple. Oh, why is he up here? No. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I missed it. No, no, no. Bro, dragon, please. Dragon, no. No, what is it? Oh, man, we lost. All right, so that was a quick little, uh, Four minute video there from Mr. Beast, uh, well, Mr. Bro. Um, I definitely think he's using their editors still, which is fine. Um, that kind of hits back to what I was saying about how, uh, maybe he should start doing it his own way for a little while, get a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera before he, uh, um, 
tries to make more of his own content. Like, I mean, it wasn't bad. A nice little four-minute video. Like, very, this is what we're doing. This is where we ended up. Oh, we lost. But, like, uh, not bad. I, I, I definitely uh, see what he's going for. And I, I can respect that maybe he's trying to do things his own way. Things that he enjoys doing. So, that's good. Um... But yeah, nothing else really to say about that. Yeah, see, comments like this is just so annoying. Though. Like, no, you're not always going to be known as Mr. Beast's brother. You can have your own name on YouTube. You know what? I got you, my guy. You just keep trying to come up, come into your own, keep up the grind, and you will find success. Remember, YouTube takes work and dedication. Alright guys, well, now that's really it for this video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.